All right, the Columbus Blue Jackets were a team that we saw make some big strides this past year. When we look at their prospects, you see Kirby Reichel taken in 2013. And Dave, you, from your days in the Ontario Hockey League, you saw what Warren Reichel's son can do. I really like Kirby Reichel. I don't think there's a person out there watching junior hockey or watching prospects that doesn't feel that Kirby Reichel has the tools to move to the next level. Now, Warren Reichel traded his son from Windsor to the Guelph Storm because he realized that Guelph Storm had the opportunity to win the league, which they did. Kirby Reichel was a huge player in every big game in the playoffs. He's the MVP of the playoffs. Every big game in the playoffs, Kirby Reichel was the player that got the goal to put the team on his back, that got the Guelph Storm to the next round, to the next level, to the Memorial Cup to win the Ontario Hockey League championship. He is a character player, much like his father, understands the game, understands what it takes to get to the next level, has grown up around the game of hockey. Kirby Reichel, I'm not sure if he's going to step into the Columbus Blue Jacks right away because they're building a pretty good, strong, young team, but he will be in the National Hockey League sooner than later. Geez, in all this time, I thought his dad traded him because he didn't like him. <laughs> I'm glad you dispelled that notion. But, you know, last year, they had three picks in the first round. They took Alexander Wenberg, a big-time skilled player out of Sweden, Kirby Reichel, and then Marco Dano. But also, they took Oliver Bjorkstrand, a Danish player who plays in Portland. I'd like to say that the Columbus Blue Jackets did amazingly well in last year's draft. So, Kirby Reichel, he drives it. Those other players are different types, but you start to add that to what they have going on there with the Ryan Johansons, the Boone Jenners. The future is bright in Columbus. That's where I come in. I talk about what John Davidson, his effect that that organization has done. I mean, class right from the top down, and now you're starting to see the Columbus Blue Jackets turn the corner. That's an attractive place to go. Nathan Horton starts their signs as an unrestricted free agent. Now you've got Johansson who steps up. Boone Jenner, who is, I'm a huge, I'm a huge Boone Jenner fan, just the way he plays, and he has more to give as far as his development. This is an organization with some young prospects drafting the right way that is going to do some, some damage for many years.